It is Sunday today. I didn't film yesterday at all. Um, Chance and Cheyenne came over and started off with Around the Villainous, and then we did our Monster of the Week campaign. A lot of stuff happened. My character, Bjorn, committed suicide, and his brother, Torsten, finally showed up. Torsten has been like, there's been like a slow burn build up to him coming into the campaign. And surprisingly, Chance, who was DMing the whole thing, him and I never really got together on it. I guess he had his ideas and I had mine, and we did 95% of it on the fly, which was uh, pretty cool. We were able to like kind of read each other, like read the situation and be like, oh, okay, I think he wants me to do this. So that's what I did. I don't know what the game plan is today. Uh, I just know that I'm about to grab a shower and find something to eat. I've been watching, I've had this big TV hooked up since Friday night. It's been primo. Um, it's amazing. But I gotta hook up the other TV that I bought and make sure that works and make sure that's all set up and good to go as well. So, um, what I will probably do, I want to keep the big TV up until I'm getting ready to leave. So I think I'll hook up the other TV on the floor with an extension cord or something. Make sure that works and it's good to go. And then hook up my Xbox to the big TV. Maybe do a little gaming on the big TV. That'd be pretty cool. All right, it's been a, been a handful of hours. Uh, grabbed a shower, made myself a couple sandwiches. I broke out that other TV and uh, fired it up. Just getting it set up. Problem with that is the remote worked on both TVs at the same time. So after after the other TV was on for a little while, I think it recognized that like the remote was for the other TV. So the big one kind of chilled out. Matt's taken off into town to get some flea medicine for Bronwyn and just some random odds and ends. I might grab a little bit to eat somewhere like Walton House or something. I'm very hungry. Yeah, you said you worked out? Went for a walk? Uh, I should have. I wasn't thinking. I should have got the flea stuff when I went to go work out because I was already close to town. But like, I didn't know. Like, we didn't confirm that Rowan had fleas until a little bit later. If Rowan has fleas, that means the other ones do. I think, uh, yeah, this has happened before once. It's not super serious, but I just need a nip it in the bud before he does get bad. Thankfully, pretty much the entire house is hardwood floor except for the bedrooms. Um, oh, hi there. Wow. This guy just jumped on over. I didn't want to go straight. I need to cut you off. Yeah, so we're we're headed out, getting out of the house for a little bit, getting getting a few things, and I guess maybe a bite to eat somewhere. So. Oh. Ah. Oh my gosh! Look, it's all another mouth boy. Oh, kitty cat. Oh, look at that boy. Reminds me of Warren. Oh, just having a little snooze. Oh, this is it. Came into Best Buy to do some window shopping. We're in the uh, appliances, and Matt is in refrigerator nerd mode. <laughs> And he's like, the evaporator in this one, and the compressor in this one. I don't want to this one. Don't buy that one. Well, now I'm a bit salty because my fucking camera broke. Like, the 
the female end of where like the handle screws into on the actual camera itself is broken. So I'm like having to hold this with my hand instead of on that handle thing. Popped into Target after Best Buy to see if they had some ice cream and they do. And now we're over at the old Cracker Barrel that bike to eat. If they ever come over and take our order. We've been here for like 30 minutes. They haven't come over. 30 minutes? It's been like two minutes. Two minutes. It's been like five. Let's let's meet in the middle. Two. Six. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. It's been 30 minutes. Fucking camera's broken. So Cracker Barrel was good. Had me a fried steak and uh, some corn, mashed potatoes, fried okra. What do you have? Uh, beans and greens and pot roast. Pot roast. It's fucking weird. It's fucking weird. My mustache looks insane after that barber visit. Why did I let him cut it? Because <laughs> you didn't tell him not to. And he was yeah. like, yeah. I'm like, clean it up, sir. And he's like, you got it. And I was like, oh no. You're like, hmm, that's what my upper lip feels yeah, like. Yeah, actually. All right. That was some good shit, though. And now we're going to go back to Target. And I'm going to grab me a little thing of ice cream, maybe a chocolate bar. And then we're going to head back to the hoose. Okay, so this vlog is going to get cut short because now I've got a massive headache that is becoming a migraine so I have taken ibuprofen and I'm just gonna chill with all the lights off it's like the lowest brightness on the TV and I'm just gonna turn the fan on and relax and hopefully pass out for a while Thanks for watching. I was going to film quite a bit more and talk about some stuff, but I can do that another time. So, I'm going to try and get rid of this headache and uh, just chill. So, peace. Okay, so now we have a problem. Basically, uh, I figured this would happen because I tried to go to bed like way too early I woke up at like 10 o'clock or 10 30 wide awake and now it's like almost it's like 12 30 at night or something like that I've been up for a couple hours I don't remember filming it earlier so I'll just kind of describe what happened I went ahead and got that 50 inch TV for the bedroom like for my for my new bedroom out got it hooked up to the internet got the software updated and everything got all the apps set up and, and logged in so that's all packed away uh, inside that closet there that's good to go I've still got the big TV set up and I'm enjoying that that's uh man getting to getting to watch that in my new living room that's gonna be something i really gotta get a couch i realized that i only like i was so jazzed up about unboxing the thing and like how awesome it is i never set anything up on it other than prime video i logged into prime video and i watched either house or vikings and that's it. That's all I ever done with this TV the whole two days it's been out of the box. I've been doing a lot of thinking this weekend about stuff and things. I kind of talked about it with Matt earlier when we were out and about in uh, Target and Cracker Barrel. I was like, man, uh, I was like, it feels like I've got nothing left to do for the apartment right now but I have like all this shit that I'm gonna have to do eventually like I gotta start buying stuff 
so the week the week of when I'm like so like that Monday I'll get paid right and then that Saturday I'll be moving in that week is going to be a bit crazy for me because I'm going to be trying to order stuff and coordinate it being delivered to the apartment and I'll also be buying stuff directly from the store in person and like keeping it in my car or something like that to like try and basically what I what I would like to do is move in with a considerable amount of stuff already and not have to leave the house on some massive fucking shopping trip after I've moved in. You know what I mean? I want to be able to move in Saturday morning, take the weekend, and clean the place, give everything a once-over, get it vacuumed and things like that, and and get all the surfaces wiped down and, like, settle in, you know, unpack stuff and... and get everything set up you know what what little stuff i will have but i don't have any of that stuff yet i need to buy a vacuum i need to buy uh i have an i'll have an entirely empty kitchen there's a box of stuff in the garage i think that matt and ariel are giving me that's got like some dishes in it and some cups and maybe some silverware i'm not sure and then apparently they've bought a couple of housewarming gifts for me as well. I know they want it to be a surprise, but I don't want to have to, I don't want to buy something that they've already got me as a gift. So yeah, I don't want to have to I don't want to have duplicates and I don't want to spend money on something that they've already got me as a gift. And then I'm like, "Well, my money could have went to something else." You know? So like I don't know. I feel like if I'm... I, I want to be able to get a couch because I got this bad boy. And I I want to be able to have a living room and sit in a living room. Even if it's just a couch and a TV with an entertainment center. I want to at least have a, a minimalistic... You know, the basics have been fulfilled living room where I can just chill in the in the beginning and then obviously I can add to it over time anyway I'm gonna try and go back to bed put something on TV and try to try to pass out so appreciate y'all watching appreciate you listening to me ramble I know that my vlogs aren't pretty but I'm trying to get back into the swing of it like I was doing it before back in like 2015 now that I've made a few of these, it's starting to get easier to talk to the camera again. And the important thing was, I addressed my viewers, I addressed you watching the video right now, but I made the vlogs for me. Like, I made it, I made them to document my life for me, so that I could look back on my memories, instead of just, like, talking to someone and being like, oh yeah, remember that time when blah 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 there'll be like a video to watch and I'm gonna do my best not to have like a mental breakdown and delete them all again because there's been four or five solid attempts where I've tried to vlog again and I've only made a few of them and then it stopped for one reason or another so I'd like to I'd like to commit to it this time and you know, especially with me getting my own place and stuff like that, like things are happening right now. So it's an important time to document and kind of get my thoughts on film. So that's what I'd like to do. Okay, so I'm going to try and go to bed. And thanks for watching. Peace.